Hey everybody, it's your girl, nothing's impossible, 77, straight out of Brooklyn, New York, yeah. Hi guys, how's everyone doing? I'm just passing by really quickly to check in. You know, my last video, huh, my last video was, you know, my heart. What well, you know, I was feeling something, you know. I, I had a little situation and you know, it, it makes you wonder about people that are, you know, uh supposed to know you and understand you, but yet you still have differences. And I've come to the conclusion, guys, that I cannot take upon myself or worry about other people's behavior. That's on them. The best thing that I could do, that Jackie could do, is do the best that I can do and take control of myself. And the thing that makes people start getting crazy and all kind of stressed out um, is when you take upon yourself something that's completely out of your control. Okay. As I'm speaking to you right now, there's a storm coming again in New York. We just got over Sandy. I mean, we have a gasoline shortage. There's no gas. I mean, I've literally seen people duking it out at the gas stations. And on top of that, we've got the national guard, you know, organizing lines for gasoline. I mean, it's crazy, you know, so, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to be very random. So stay with me and hopefully whatever's for you will, you know, will go with you. You know, who's the cap fit as my homeboy Bob Molly says has the, who the cap fit, let them wear it, you know? So yeah, so that's what's going on in New York, uh, as we speak. Okay. Now, in addition to everything else, I have decided that I do not want to always keep coming on and have to talk to you guys about my health situation. Not because I don't want to tell you and not because I don't know that you care, but simply because, you know, me talking about it all the time or putting it in the forefront of what's going on with me is giving it life. It's giving it too much life. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to give this, you know, heart disease life. Okay. Who wants to give any kind of disease life? We want to kill disease. We don't want to give disease life. You feel what I'm saying? So I have decided that unless it's something that, um, is happening right now, right now, and it requires my request to ask you guys for prayer or whatever, then we'll talk about it. Okay. Is that fair? Does that make sense? Do we have an agreement? Okay. Uh, in addition to that, I took the two videos off the one with me in the hospital. Um, the two, I was, both of them was in the hospital. One with me on camera asking you guys to pray for me. The other one, I was off camera. I took them down. So for those of you that did see those videos and you did pray for me, thank you. I appreciate it. For some reason, every time I go on my, you know, video manager, or I look through my channel, I get a little bad vibration at those videos to see myself with, a, uh, you know, oxygen, you know, tubes in my nose, which is, was the cover picture for that video. It somehow takes something away from me every time I see it. And I get this little check in my spirit. So finally I decided to obey my inner self, my inner voice that said, take that down. Okay. They prayed for you. Mission accomplished. I haven't removed the one with the mask on my face where I look like Hannibal Lecter yet because that's a sleep machine and maybe someone out there may have sleep apnea, but if I feel led to take that down, it'll come down also. Okay. All right. So we're you still, are you still with me? Are you, are you still with me? I'm a little all over the place. I'm shaking this desk a little bit. On the, um, it keeps on moving. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's that. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into the whole election thing. We know President Barack Obama was reelected. A couple of people asked me to talk about politics. But in my opinion, I've always said it. You know, it's not politics, it's politics and it's politicians. And, you know, let me tell you something. 
Um, I saw somebody else talk about it, but I'm West Indian. I'm from, you know, of, I'm of West Indian descent. I'm not, I wasn't born there, but of descent. And, um, and for the longest time, Jamaican artists have always sang about politics. It's the biggest thing that they've ever said, you know. They, 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 they say, uh, we're not down with no politics, you know, so yeah. So, um, my thing is discussing politics can be very, um, sensitive, you know, you know, politics have separated the best of friends and caused folks to get divorced and even got people into physical altercation. So my only thing that I want to say about this whole election campaign uh, situation. I've had my say. I've been on Twitter. I've been on Facebook. I shared my opinion, and that's my opinion. And if you're following me on Facebook, you would see it. If you're following me on Twitter, you would see it. Um, and you may have your opinion. Whatever your opinion may be, whether it uh, is in agreement with me or in a opposition to what I feel, I respect it. Hey, we have to learn to respect each other whether we agree or not, it's called agreeing to disagree. Feel me? Okay. Now, last but not least, the one nugget that I want to leave with you guys that dropped into my spirit is having disagreements with people, uh, such as what I had per my last video. And when people hurt you or disappoint you, it is very easy to only remember that issue that's bam in your face rather than to take a moment, settle your mind, not respond in anger, give yourself a moment to hoosa, to cool off, and then come to a more clear opinion of everything. What am I saying? Jackie, what are you talking about? What are you saying, girl? I'm saying, don't always get all upset and in your face, ready to respond. Anger, uh, you know, has, you know, instigated us to say the worst things. And once you say that terrible thing out your mouth, honey, you cannot get it back. Woo, you say that word, you wish you could snatch it back. You can't snatch it back. This ain't Mortal Kombat, honey. That word is gone. Okay. And so rather than being foolish and having no self-control, absolutely no control of yourself, control yourself. See, listen, many of us want to talk about what we are, what we could be, what we do, who we are, and what we've accomplished. And many of us, self-included at, at, at certain times in my life have had no self-control because the minute somebody pissed me off, you know, there's been times when I would come back like whiplash, baby, and I was fierce. The reason I can give you advice and my suggestions and what I feel is because I was a force to be reckoned with, honey. Nothing's impossible, 77. Whoa! Yeah. Mm hmm So, you know, I don't care who you are. You can't feel good about yourself not having control of yourself. Just imagine what I'm saying. It's like, imagine that you live in your house that is in your name, mortgage or lease, whatever the case may be, and any Joe Schmo can walk up off the street and just run things in your house and tell you what to do. Yo, uh, get up out that bed right now. I need to get in there. Who are you? I don't know. Who could do that? Well, that's what it's like when you have no control of yourself. When you get angry, you're supposed to put that anger in a headlock and say, oh, hold up, I'm running this. Self-control is powerful. And I'm saying all of this to say that once I, was, I had gotten upset with my loved one, I didn't allow myself to only let that situation be the, in the forefront of my mind. There's a lot of history. There's a lot that we've been through together. There's a lot of things in life that we've experienced. Why should I just have taken that one incident and make that be the, the whole kit and caboodle of what our relationship is? And sometimes we do that. 
oftentimes, too many times we do that. When you have an argument with somebody, it may be hard in the first few minutes, but after 24 hours or maybe even 48 hours, you can settle your soul and start to really think about things. And I came to the decision that there's more good than bad in the situation that was bothering me. So I'm going to work with it and work it out. And that's how I roll. And that's what I wanted to tell you guys. The other thing is, when people treat you a certain way, do you have the tendency, like I do, to say, why would you do that to me? I never did that to you. Or why wouldn't you extend me that courtesy? I extended you a courtesy. Have you ever been through that situation where you've had that, you know, that interaction, that, that you know, that conversation? And then the person was like, yeah, that was you, but not me. And then you're like, really? After I did all that for you? Now you're going to turn around and tell me that's you? You know what? That person is right. Just because you extend a courtesy, just because you have a certain disposition and you are a certain way in life, doesn't mean that they have to be that way also. And don't be mad at them. Actually, you if you want to be mad, be mad at yourself. And I have been mad at myself a couple times lately. Because I can't be mad at you if I let you make me look like a fool. And then when I turn around to you and I'm like, could you look like a fool too? And you're like, <laughs> no. But then why did you help me make me look like a fool? Because you wanted to be a fool, Jackie. I don't know what to tell you. And then you want to get mad. Oh, you don't want to look like a fool too. I mean, look at how stupid you're looking more like a fool. You're looking more of a fool. I know I'm all over the place, but if anybody, somebody could get what I'm saying, honey, snatch them nuggets out this video and put them in your purse or your hiding place in the, in the, in the recesses of your heart and run with it, honey. Because, oh, how I wish I had YouTube when I was in my teens and in my early 20s and growing there's so much on youtube that is so valuable there is so much if i never have another friend if i never have another in interaction i could sit on youtube all day searching for nuggets and things to to feed my mind and my soul and just like anything else honey bunches just like you can find food for your soul you can find ill for your soul ill will for your soul. It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay. And it's your choice. We need to stop telling each other what we think the other one should do. Even the God of this universe gives us a freedom of choice. You want to walk over that cliff? Go ahead. Go right ahead. Bump your head, scrape your knees, whatever the case may be, but go ahead. And so why shouldn't we give each other freedom of choice? Okay, 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 okay. We we, we want we don't want to see people go down the same road that we went down. Okay, so, you know, if you want to give a little advice, give it. But just give it. Don't shove it down nobody's throat. And there's another little randomness in my, in my spirit. You know... President Obama won the election last night and I was watching it and I was really happy for him. And then something in my heart said, wow, Jackie, you don't even wish that that were you in that situation. And then I started to thank God. And I'm going to tell you where I'm going with this. I am so feeding my soul and nourishing my spirit, that I am learning not to be competitive, but creative. I don't have to envy you or wish that I were you, because the same opportunities available to you are also available to me. And I have to find my way and my journey. And somebody might say, oh yeah, right, the opportunity for you to be president. Maybe that's not my path. 
See, the, the big thing is you got to find your path. And then you got to go accordingly on your path. What's the GPS uh, 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 directions for your life? See, we always, you know, find ourselves falling and say, oh, but you know, it happened for her. Because you on somebody else's path. You need to be on your own. Listen, I'm done because I am so full today that I could sit here and this, 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 uh, computer, this, uh, little old, uh, computer, this old Apple could blow up on me right now because that's how full I am in my soul. I love you guys. Sincerely. Even if y'all don't love me back, I don't care. You can't stop me from loving y'all. And not one of you can stop me from wishing you well. And guess what? Even my haters, I love y'all too. You know why? Because I can. And you can't stop me. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, guys. I'm out. Keep me in your prayers. But we're not going to keep this disease and this illness and all that at the forefront. Put that way back there. Peace and love. Later.